sport, the world's most successful athletics team training in Birmingham this evening. The US track and field team at the Alexander Stadium. And our reporter Dan Pallant is there too. Uh, Dan, I'm guessing from the fact that you're indoors, uh, that's to do with the weather. Indoor session tonight certainly is in fact most of them they came in from the track outside and they came indoors nearly all of them have gone back because the weather's miserable apart from one Alison Felix you might know her because she won the 200 meters at the London 2012 Olympics three-time world champion she's just been warming down just recently but yesterday it was the Jamaicans today it's the Americans who've given their backing for Birmingham's bid to host the Commonwealth Games in 2022 of course both teams are in the second city to get ready for the World Athletics Championships next week and as for the Americans well they've certainly been throwing themselves into life here in Birmingham as Nick Clitheroe reports they're flying the stars and stripes over Birmingham and hoping to repeat the pose as world champions in a couple of weeks in fact, everywhere you looked at the Alexander Stadium this morning, there was an Olympic gold medalist. Oh my goodness, Birmingham, they just do it right. The fans are amazing. I mean, you have, I know where my movie theater is, where my restaurants are to eat, and then the stadium and the stands. It's just amazing with the indoor and outdoor stadium. I love Birmingham. And the city loves to play host to them. You can see the interest that the Americans' presence in Birmingham is generating big stars like the hurdler Aries Merritt are really driving up the sporting profile of this city. The world record holder wasn't the only one drawing a crowd. We believe the suspect is <laughs> an average height man. The spirit was good and no wonder. American athletes relish the media interest and fan support they get here. Track and field is not a big box office draw back home. You're going to see a ton of fun stuff. You're going to see us training here in Birmingham. Sprinters like Natasha Hastings are trying to change that by reaching out to young fans through social media. I have a YouTube channel, Natasha Hastings, 400 Meter Diva. My mom is actually from Twickenham. We have plans to go to the house that she grew up in, so I plan on documenting all of that. So it's more than just what's on the track, but a little bit of Natasha behind the scenes. And yes, I have some roots here in the UK as well. Justin Gatlin had drawn his own young fan club too. The Indoor World Championships will take place in Birmingham next spring. They want the Commonwealth Games to follow. I do think they'd be a good host. Um, they've already done it right up until now, and I think they would just grow and mature, probably do more surveys of what athletes would really want to make them comfortable and just make a good performance, a competition for them. So I think they'd definitely be ready. Making a success of this training camp will only help the city's cause. Nick Clitheroe, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.